know, you talk about the, the early 80s. There was a lot of turmoil in this city. There. All was not well in the Magic City. Mention Miami to your friends out of state, and they will conjure up images of crime, of murders and muggings, of boiler rooms and burglaries, of cocaine and crooked cops. Born and raised in Miami, Florida, off of 69th Terrace and 30th Avenue. I grew up over town, one of the toughest neighborhoods in Miami. It was a typical neighborhood. You had a guy selling drugs around the corner. Well, 1980s Liberty City was corrupt, you know, uh, drugs and prostitution. And I seen it every day, walking to school. Gunshots at night, people getting robbed. It was so intense at that point, as far as the uh, black-white relationship. Every couple years, you would have a riot. You had several would say major riots, uh, 1980 young man Arthur McDuffie riot. Four white police officers were found not guilty of the beating death of black insurance executive Arthur McDuffie. He beat him to death like a dog, like a dog that beat him. Three days of rioting in May, 18 people were killed in Miami's Liberty City section. We were, you know, right there in it. My high school was right in the zone. We couldn't go to our homes. 